we have our Good our afternoon, our everybody. Our My name is Levit Tahanan. Today, I will give you a talk about review optimization of asset management based on equipment monitoring of our system operation. So, let's begin with the introduction. What is asset management mean? Asset management is a process of guiding data or assets to make the most benefit such as economic or inventory assets like so, to, to explain it clearly, we have an example of asset for management. Asset for management from one organization. They want to plan to win the risk, cost, and development of assets that they on the optimization as a plan on benefit, which cost, optimal timing of work, or maintenance strategy, and the last is financial constraint for the organization. So, let's begin. What is the asset in substation they have? In substation, they have a variety of assets such as transformer, circuit maker, current transformer, and potential transformer. So, this card is telling you about the number. The y axis is the number of equipment that are installing in the transmission system, and the x axis is the age or year. So, why the age is important? We are considering about the age that more than 25 years. For the transformer is around 25%, circuit breaker and current transformer is 15%, and the last is potential transformer is around 23%. So, why the edge is important? Because the edge has a relation to the reliability of the equipment. As you can see from the initial point, the assets or the equipment when you just use, the reliability are 100%, and when the time passing, the reliability of equipment is decreasing by the same time from reliable souls to regenerate souls and critical souls. So, what the organization must do to keep the reality of that in the green soul, they must do the maintenance, such as preventive maintenance or corrective maintenance. Preventive maintenance does mean the the activity that you in to that you will increase to protect the failure will occur and corrective maintenance is the repair that the failure will happen. So when in order to do this, the costs are increasing from the maintenance cost when the time has passing. So let's see the relationship between the last second cost of asset. The last second cost of asset can be divided into group. The first one is risk cost and the second one is the capital cost. Risk cost such as the maintenance cost, operation cost and the cost that will happen in the power system. And the second is the capital cost. Is the value of asset that when the time has passing, the value of asset that you use are decreasing, decreasing. So in order to make the optimum point of that of like second cost, you must find this point to balance between the risk cost and capital cost at minimum. So the objective of this system is they want to operate in the system by maintaining between the cost and quality such as the power flow and reliability. Second, they want to minimize the total cost, total cost of transmission system such as the maintenance cost, power operation cost that we offer all the time and the cost. And the third is to select the suitable maintenance strategy for the assets. So, what the problem? How we can optimize maintenance strategy of asset by concerning about the cost and reliability. And second, they have the constraint is power info is equal to power in the output is sufficient as power in out is all. And the last is equipment has the maximum capacity. So, in order to solve this problem, they have the methodology is called integrated kitchen management system. As you can see, they have the back line is the power line, and the red line is the data line. The red line is the important for this concept because the red line is connected to the speed substation and the distribution they are connected. And also, the equipment are condition monitoring all the time. And when the equipment or asset are monitoring, they want to the data from this substation they transfer to the control center for what? To evaluate the cost, to select suitable maintenance and power for. So, this algorithm has five steps for doing this. For the first one is at parallelity estimation. They use the wide distribution condition data that you get from it to find the failure rate of equipment. Failure is mean the failure that the or the rate of equipment that you destroy by the time to time. 
and then select the magnetic resonance sensitivity. Such as regular is mean then don't do anything. Just check an inspection. All or is mean to change some part of the asset. And the last is the replacement. It means you change the whole asset. So this three strategy has an impact to the failure rate. And then from this one and two, they go to the second. first step is system and sub quality estimation. For the failure that we get, they use the Monte Carlo simulation to simulate the failure pattern that will happen to each asset. And then evaluate the cost from the failure pattern by time to time. We have each time we convert all the all the offerings to the cost and find the minimum cost by using the non-linear programming. And then comprehensive evaluation, comprehensive evaluation by optimum TND cost and maintenance strategy. If it is not the minimum, so you have to do it again to select the best maintenance strategy. So to test this methodology, they use the system model is called within test, test system. Like this, the right picture. There are simulation for two cases. For the first one, is new installation equipment. It means the edge of equipment of our system start from zero year. It means the new, new to buy the new asset. And second is the incommodiness equipment. The asset has the various edge that are operating, and they they want to focus only circuit breaker, no four, five, and six. So the result from the first case, new installation equipment, they want to compare with the IGMS with the power maintenance. As you can see, the cost is to compare each circuit breaker, the cost is reducing for the circuit breaker for is around 30%, 5 is 20%, 6 is 15%. The cost is reduced and also the number of maintenance activities are reduced for overhaul and replacement are reducing. So it means that the asset can extend, the, uh, extend for the period of maintenance because the condition of equipment are different. By the same way, in the in homogeneous condition, the edge of the distributor is not equal from zero, and the cost are decreasing since for circuit breaker four is around twenty five percent, but circuit breaker five is twenty three percent, and circuit breaker six is around twenty percent. So. And also it can delay time, just like the I mentioned in the new age equipment. So in conclusion, I have reviewed the IGMS, it estimates or even in the system as cost for many factors. And also they can find the minimum cost and then the impact of individual levy of equipment by equipment maintenance. And the last is to do the cost from time to time, and that's the organization that I usually want to do.